What a gorgeous voice. That is a lovely Kimberly Dunn. She is one of the artists that uh, will perform during your ceremonies here uh, at the schoolhouse. Yes, yeah, it's wonderful. I'm joined by uh, Barbara. She is the owner and host here uh, at the schoolhouse. What a lovely venue. Thank you. Welcome to the schoolhouse. We're glad that you could come out here this morning. Oh gosh, it's our pleasure, but uh, a little more than 10 years ago, it didn't look like this at all inside, did it? Not at all. Everybody's really surprised to come and see the schoolhouse now. Mm -hmm. So can you walk me through a little bit about what the schoolhouse was before it became the wedding chapel? Well, it was um, a, a public school. Mm -hmm. It was school section number five, mm -hmm. and it was used by the area until 1967. It was in full use. Mm -hmm. And then it was empty for a little while, it was a restaurant for a little while, and then in its last life it was a pub. And when it was in the pub in 2001, there was a fire in it, mm -hmm. and the fire unfortunately demolished the interior of the, the schoolhouse. And that picture that you were just looking at there is what the actual building looked like, the interior, when you and your husband came to, to, to purchase it, right? Absolutely. How were you able to see past the, the wreckage that was this building and, and you know, I guess, visualize what it could potentially be. I really couldn't. I was really shocked and, and didn't think that anything could be done with this building, but my husband really has a passion for stone. He's an architect mm -hmm. and he knew that the building was destined to be destroyed and he just couldn't see that. So his love for the, the building, he restored it. It took us four years mm -hmm. um, and we came every weekend. Didn't really know what the building was going to end up being. Mm -hmm. and. It was just kind of a, a fluke that it ended up being a wedding venue. We had lots of people asking us if they could use it for weddings. Mm -hmm. So then we decided, well, there's definitely a need for a small wedding venue. Absolutely. And this little bell here is the only remaining piece, right? That's it. That's the original bell. We didn't want to uh, change it at all. We have lots of bells around the building mm -hmm. that we use during wedding ceremonies, when people are doing speeches, to introduce the bride and groom, to uh, welcome people into the space. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the interior of the building and that gorgeous stone on the exterior. There's also the surrounding landscape that can be transformed into a place where you could have your ceremony, Absolutely. Right? We uh, spent many summers putting an interlock. It's interlocked all the way around the building. We've got about 2,500 square feet of interlock mm -hmm. and uh, the bride can walk down the interlock. We have red carpets that we put out for her, uh, which is really nice because we have uh, had bride walking down on the grass, mm -hmm. which is not so graceful, unfortunately. We've learned from experience, <laughs> yes. so we, uh, we encourage them to walk on the interlock. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay, well, a little bit later in the show, we're going to talk to Barbara about the different types of ceremonies that you can have here, because it's not just the wedding. You can also have your cocktail reception Absolutely. here, and uh, they've got a very special <laughs> reverend as well, don't you? That's right. All right, so we'll introduce you to him a little bit later in the show. That's all coming up from At The Schoolhouse on CTV Morning. Thank you.